see if we can get this thing taken apart. The bearings seem to be shot, so the motor is in there, I believe. So we'll probably take off this, Dieter bar. So we got a screw that's almost non-existent, it's ground off. Then we file a slit. screwdriver. Give it a turn. Okay. See if we can replace that. There's the first piece. Beater bar. Belt. Fine. Oh, there you go, it's got a couple of flats. Take the hose off. Let's do that. Get out of the way. Hose assembly. side pieces hold the motor assembly in. Four screws. Lead to housing. Open up the case. Move the bag. Filter. That side. Take that door. Take that filter out. That door. We have one, two, three, four screws. Five screws. It's inside of a seal, a rubber seal of sorts. Got one spade lug. There's one. Goes through a little raceway. And two. So I have to pull the motor. Motor and the second spade lug on the bottom. And a lot of dust. Seal comes off. Bearings sound a little noisy. I'll go blow this off with some pressured air and get rid of some of the dust. Okay, that's better. Lots of compressed air, lots of dust, and everything's looking significantly better. Lots of dust in the armature and field windings. So, the question is, are the bearings bad? Break out some cheater cords. Switch turn on and off. There's a dimmer into the switch section. Dimmer's all the way down. Tube. Uh, we'll connect this 
guy up. are shot. And then the bearing holder is this thing. Fan off. Be wanting to spring back for some reason. Not sure. I'll try and use the impact wrench to pull the fan nut off. Okay. Left handed thread on the fan. Got the nut washer off. Continued to pry on this. It just got real springy. Then once I got it out far enough, I could pry this down and this up. I was able to take off the shroud blower. This is a diverter. Takes the air and puts it back into the center of the motor. Another washer on the inside. So there was a bushing on top of that. Let me just Put a couple of marks on here. That just comes straight off. And then when I put it back together, just let the brushes. strings or some tape or something. See if this plastic retainer yep, comes off. It's out. And there's a spring in there. normally go on the end of that to pry, apply some pressure on the bearing and I can just tie the brushes back. They're extremely long. Go see if I can get that other bearing out. So using some rather unorthodox methods of getting the bearings off. They're off the shaft. Now I'm going to see if we got any more. Right there, 608Z. Got a couple. So I have rubber seals on one side, but I don't have the rubber seal version, so I'm just going to use the shielded ones. 608Z instead of 608R. And I go pound these back on. Using some Velcro straps to hold the brushes back out of the way. Don't think it's far enough back that I can tighten it up here a little bit.
turns. Arm brush released. Second brush released. down needs to run goes on cover just went on the end of that cover is up. I'm going to rotate the field. Wires are 